Happy February 1st, in other words, lobster month. Yeah. We are David and Skylar, and we are about to head to the South Shore. Nova Scotia South Shore is a beautiful spot. We are no strangers to the area. We love visiting and seeing all of the beautiful scenery there. The locals are amazing, but most of all is the love for lobster. And that's what we're about to take on is Lobster Crawl. It's a month long celebration dedicated to lobster. There's a ton of different events. It's our first time attending, and we can't wait to take you guys along. We're actually heading there from our home in Cape Breton, so it's gonna be a big old Six hour drop. It's so snowy. I hope there's snow there too. <laughs> Where do polar bears keep their money? In their polar purses. In a snow bank. <laughs> that sunset <laughs> just blinded us. I know, us. we missed it. Well, we've seen it, but we wanted to be here to capture it. But anyway, we are about to eat, or we just arrived in Clark's Harbor, and we're gonna go eat at the Salt Banker. Yeah. Is your okay? It's okay. Look at him. His name is Percy, and oh wait, he has half blue, half regular colored. I don't want to put you to sleep. Sorry. This is my lobster roll. It's a cold lobster roll. Looks amazing. Just what I got house pet fries with it. And David got the macaroni and cheese because I was dying for some macaroni and cheese. We're just gonna share. Max, lobster, lobster mac and cheese. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> We just wrapped up a great dinner here at the Salt Baker, and this is Amanda, Amanda, Georgia, Georgia. Corey, Corey, chef, ice cream server extraordinary, and it was just a really good night and a great way to start off lobster roll. The Salt Banker gave us a can of this stuff. It's called ube, and it's like purple yam from the Philippines, and they make ice cream with it, and it's so good. So I'm gonna try to make my own ice cream with this. Apparently you could do it some way in the freezer with like ice cubes, so. David has gonna wing no it. clue how difficult making ice cream is. <laughs> He'd probably look at me tomorrow and be like, let's make homemade butter. In a bit of a food coma now. <laughs> But we have drove back into Barrington and we are currently at the Salty Shores Inn and Cafe. And we actually stayed here last time we were along the South Shore. It's a lovely little spot. Give you a little room tour right now. Got your bathroom over there. There's two rooms, they're quite identical. So we stayed in the other room last time. And this is the whole space here. We got a little fridge, a microwave, coffee machine, TV, table, lounge chair and a very comfy bed. Good night. We just caught the most amazing sunrise. Didn't expect it at all. And now we're late. So we're running. That was an amazing sunrise. We are currently at the Cape Sable Island Causeway because it is Groundhog Day, February 2nd, and around here, they celebrate it in a way like no other. Instead of a groundhog, they have a lobster that predicts the weather. Her name is Lucy. She's fabulous. She comes out of the ocean, and if she sees her shadow or not, we'll predict whether we have a early spring or if the winter's gonna keep around for a while. So they have a whole event happening right behind us. We're gonna get some photo opportunities with Lucy later. It is just a very exciting morning. She is a beauty. Look hey, at the size of her. You what? Hey, cuz. <laughs> yeah, like yep. Do you see it? Do you see it? There's yep. a shadow. Yep. There's a shadow. There's a shadow. Six <laughs> more weeks of winter. Yes. This is Lucy the lobster, which is the South Shore's version of a groundhog. And she predicted that we might have some more winter. Six more weeks, which we're all okay with. Thank you so much for a lovely morning, Lucy. This was fabulous. She's gonna head back to the spa now, and we're gonna head on to, uh, shh, eat some lobster. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> there. Oh, the camera's wet. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're on Cape Sable Island. This is the Hog Beach. This is the second time we've came here because we really want to see it on a nice day. Like, it's one of the best beaches in Nova Scotia. Once again, it's kind of cloudy and foggy and we're just going to have to come, come back. back. Yeah. We're going to come in the summertime, I think. Yeah, we're always here in the wintertime, which is beautiful in the winter, but we're always here on... Oh, I can see the lighthouse. Cool. Yeah. I can't see the lighthouse. Right over there, you can... Wait. <laughs> 
Oh, I do see it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> see the lighthouse. <laughs> this is also the location of a drowned forest. So it's 1,500 year old drowned forest, and you can see the petrified tree stumps yeah, the in stumps. the beach. They kind of look like also very rocks. sandy too. I think that the tide must be in. But. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna go on a tour. Also, Brandon Blades has a dome here that you can rent out. Little plug. I wanna come stay! Our next stop is Fisher Direct. We did a tour here quite a few years ago now with Wesley, but I think this time we're getting a tour with his dad. He's gonna show us around. Nice shirt. Your t shirt. Thanks. It. So I'm gonna wear the lobster capital of Canada one today, and I also have a lobster crawl one. There's a fuzzy on my nose. Or freezing, and then you have the live side. We're 100% live here. We just do live. That's all we've ever done. You see those swimmerettes there? That's a female. See how they're like like softer and more. Uh, and there's female. the male there, right? The male on the left and the female on the right. Oh, that's. I want one. The tour was great. It is so cool to get to see inside a lobster pad and get the behind the scenes looks at how it is all done. So like we got to see where the lobsters live once they're caught and then how they're sorted and stored and then they get put into these like little divider things because lobsters like to eat each other. Pretty sure lobster is Nova Scotia's biggest export um, and we just got to see behind the scenes of that. This place might look familiar because we've stayed right over there before at the starboard inn. And this is the portside lounge. We've actually never dined here, so we're gonna go get some lunch. We went with two different lobster dishes, of course. So I got the lobster roll. I'll show you that in a second. And the lobster poutine, which has like a creamy lobster sauce and big chunks of lobster on it. That thing is just like packed full of lobster. Holy smokes. It's heavy. still we just wanted to go for a little walk there's a cool woolen mill over there there's also a museum that we're gonna check out tomorrow I believe it's a gift shop too it's just nice it's nice to see snow on the ground and don't we're over this little bridge on the trails for dinner tonight we're stopping in at Captain Cat's we've been here a few times now they make the best lobster roll I've said it tons of times but it's, it's really good. You, ha you gotta stop in at Barrington and get a lobster roll. Not sure if we already introduced Kaylin or not, but this is Kaylin. She is Travel Yourself on YouTube or Nova Scotia Explorer on all everywhere other else. everywhere else. <laughs> we ordered some lobster fondue to start. Oh no, the light went out. I'll have to get another lighter. But there's like a little candle there and then we dip our lobster claws and garlic bread in this creamy lobster sauce. It smells amazing. I got the cold lobster roll. We have had this quite a few times. This is my third lobster roll in 24 hours. David got lobster quesadilla with I believe like a butter cream sauce to go with it, which looks really unique. And there's a bunch of lobster in there. Caitlin got a lobster roll as well. <laughs> Tonight we have a special event that we're going to be go to going to. It's called Songs of the Sea. It's a uh, lobster crawl evening that they have with different storytelling and music. And it's all going to be about how we are connected and shaped by the sea. Evening. I just want to give a little shout out to the artists that were up there. There was Lynn Crowell, Autumn Dedrick, who is only 14. Her voice was incredible. I cannot believe she has the confidence to get up there and sing, and she's so good at 14. Um, Chet Buchanan and April Scott, and they put on a great little show. I believe this con little concert series happens every lobster crawl here in Barrington. Only five bucks, hidden gem. Yeah, something to look forward to if you're coming to Lobster Crawl. 
you want to go back and go to bed now? Because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, we're going to bed. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. We might be doing sunrise. I don't. I'm not sure because it's supposed to be very cold, extreme cold. Tomorrow. Like it's. We're about to hit a cold snap, which means it's dropping to minus forty. I think. Good morning from the Hawk Beach. Not as cold as we expected. I think it might be tomorrow night. Stopping back in at the salt banker for some breakfast. I just got their traditional banker breakfast. Looks awesome. Look at those hash browns. These are hash browns right here. I got the banker Benny, which is lobster eggs benedict with a lobster cream sauce. It's really good, I just took a bite. <laughs> this morning we are still in Barrington and we are going to be taking a guided tour up to the top of this lighthouse. It is a replica of the Seal Island Lighthouse. It's also a museum too, so you can check it out, I believe during the summer and fall months, but right now in winter we're getting special access to go to the top. Oh my, I'm gonna lose my hat. This is so cool. Best soak it up when you can. <laughs> 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 I caught the, the end of that, yeah. Mm, she just discovered the Easter egg. Put it back. It's cute. I think that's great. That's fun. So I definitely want to come back in the summertime when they're open and they have like more stuff going on. But this is very, very neat. It's not often you can climb to the top of a lighthouse. So this lighthouse is a replica of the Seal Island Lighthouse. Which that is, is a three kind of, hour boat ride to yeah, get to. It's quite so far, far offshore. Off. The light on top of this one is the original from the island that they helicoptered over here. Did it's you see that? No. Yeah. There is so many shipwrecks off the shore of here, like over 350 is what she said, shipwrecks. Wow. Yeah. We are at the Barrington Complex uh, Museum and Gift Shop. There are so many neat gift things in here. We're gonna go felting upstairs, but first we're having a look around. That's what we're making? Oh, yeah. Behind and That's so cool. And as you do that, you will see that it starts to yeah. stay together. I try to do a little more of a basic class for kids and we try to like do it at 10 minutes. Is it gonna come back? Oh yeah. So look what we just made. Sorry, we made a mess. We, we did it better. Okay. We felted some, <laughs> oh, mine's supposed to be like this. It's a mustache. That felting experience, they'll be offering June through the summer. And the best way to find out when they have it happening or what events are happening is to check out the Barrington Museum Complex's Facebook page and also their website. And I think they said it was about 20 bucks to do this. For yeah. The whole experience. But like the whole so, experience, I think there was like two. You're right into it. And yeah, it was it was <laughs> a fabulous afternoon and then also getting to go to a really good gift shop. That gift shop has so many like yeah. local area artists, like a lot of like lobster themed things and yeah, it's just the best. It's lunchtime, but it's also beer o'clock, and we are trying crustacean elation for the first time. Sociable! <laughs> That's okay. Um, so, crustacean elation is infused with whole lobster um, and fire roasted lobster shells to get into the aroma and taste. It's our first time. This is my fourth lobster roll of the trip. And David got fish and chips with sweet potato fries. Next up, we are at the Black Loyalist Heritage Museum. We have never been here before, but I've definitely wanted to check it out. So let's head inside. I think we're going to do a little tour around the museum. This is inside the Black Loyalist Heritage Museum and it is such a beautiful space. Andrea Davies is the executive director and she just showed us around for the afternoon. The space is all about preserving and promoting the history of Black Loyalists in North America. So much of the history is 
found through storytelling and through just telling it verbally. So they kind of collect that all here and share it. And it tells the story as well of how Black Loyalists arrived in Nova Scotia into Shelburne, Port Roseway, and how it was the largest black uh, settlement in all of the world in the 18th century. So it was a very informative history lesson. I think it's a part of Nova Scotia history everybody that visits here should experience. And the space speaks for itself. This museum is absolutely stunning and you can feel the energy um, here while you're here too. Just down the road from the Black Loyalist Heritage Society is Boulder Cove Cottages, and they are five waterfront cottages. And this is our cottage. It is the Cape Roseway Cottage. It's a two bedroom one. You come in this way, and this is bedroom number one. And we had to sleep in here. Then, I, oh my gosh, that sinks. <laughs> you sink right in. This is bedroom number two. Oh, this one also is coming. This way is the bathroom. Oh, skylight! That's awesome! There's a skylight and a big tub. Oh, it's like a two person, three person tub. This is the living room area. Little kitchen area, too. <laughs> They're also dog friendly, they're open year round. This is our deck. It wraps right around. This is our view. We also have stairs that go down and a little picnic table bonfire area. And I think you can kind of scramble the rocks down to the water too. And we're only 10 minutes outside of Shelburne, so we're very close to the town and all of its amenities because we're gonna go into town and get dinner later. Let's back up outside. Okay. So we're stopping in Shelburne tonight. We're gonna get do a little tasting at Boxing Rock. We're gonna have little tasters of our lobster mac and cheese that we're featuring through the month. And I've tailored a flight to go with the lobster mac and cheese going through the cut complement and contrast flavors that you can have. So that Boxing Rock experience is available during Lobster Crawl. You basically go in and you have a beer tasting course and you get served the lobster mac and cheese and it was delightful. We tried four different kinds of beer and yeah, it's just really cool. And they had live music. It's pretty with the green. We are at Emerald Light now, and their lobster crawl special is a lobster bacon slider. It has avocado, mayo, some crispy chips on the side, and it's paired with a three sheets beer from Boxing Rock. Oh, oh. Just drinking it is lovely. Yeah. The car is saying minus 17. What did you just tell me? My phone is saying the area is minus 19 with a feels like of minus 32 right now. It's winter though, it's not that bad. I'm just hoping that people stay safe. Minus 35 this morning. This is fun. Everything is all frozen. It's so pretty. This morning we're grabbing breakfast at Sandy Point Lighthouse. There's a community center here. They have breakfast every first Saturday and third Saturday of every month. And it's only 10 bucks. This is crazy. My face is frozen. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh my god. Did it work? It worked, yeah. <laughs> Two, one, go! Oh no, that was bad. <laughs> We took a little walk around Shelburne and now we're just gonna check out the beach in Lockport. It's killing me that we can't fly the drone. I'm very sad and grumpy about it. Very, very windy.
we've sought refuge at a very favorite place to stay here in Nova Scotia. We first stayed here not too long ago. It's the quarter deck. I can give you a little tour of our room. We are in the shoreline building. Um, there's a bunch of different units just like this one. So you come in the door. And this is the bathroom. I love that there's robes. <gasps> I didn't realize that they were like fuzzy robes. Yeah, they're kind of fuzzy. Oh, that's... Oh, that's the best. This is our room. Bed test. That's a very cozy bed. I love the artwork on the wall. We have a TV. And there is a bunch of cutlery and wine glasses and stuff down here. Sitting spot, a fridge and a microwave. It overlooks Somerville Beach. You have your own private little deck area. If you come over this side too, you can see the rest of the quarter deck and the restaurant building over there. We're here just for the night. We are gonna settle in and then we're gonna head over to get dinner on site too. The spot is so nice and I said we sought refuge, but really we just checked in. So <laughs> we knew we were staying here. Um. Hi. Hi. Wanna have dinner with me? <laughs> yeah? What are we eating? We are at the quarter deck and they have a restaurant here called The Grill. <laughs> it's, like, it's called The Deck, but it's not. It's called The Grill. And yeah, it's a beautiful restaurant. When we were here last, we were praising it because honestly, it's just so beautiful that I would recommend coming to eat here, even if you're not staying here because this rest, like the view of the ocean right there is spectacular. I got the lobster roll, which they are also competing in the lobster crawl roll off. And this is the quarter deck's lobster roll that they are spinning. So of course I had to get it. And David got the lobster linguine with big chunks of lobster all mixed within. And then we also got some coconut shrimp too, just cause we saw on the menu we really wanted it. Oh, we just missed sunset. <laughs> Look at this. It's not so windy here. We we were eating and we were enjoying our food and then we kind of sat bloop, underneath the horizon. And then we met this lovely couple. He's a fisherman, local in the area. Oh my gosh, what was his name again? Roy. And, Roy. And Nicole. And Nicole. There we go. And they were lovely and they said hi and they were just having their own family dinner and it was really nice to talk to somebody from the area. It was like, it's cool that you're here and making videos and... He's said he's had a really good fishing year, which is awesome to hear. And he was showing us pictures of some of the lobster that he's caught. It's just really neat. Wow. This has been such a magical morning. It's so pretty here. We are at the Vineyard Winery and we're gonna do a little wine tasting and tour. Quick, 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 quick! Stop! Yeah, oh my very gosh. happy dog now. Yes, yeah. It has a light carbonation for Zante style, so it's just a touch of bubble to bring the body up. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead, you're gonna smell the pear on the nose immediately. Nice. We just tried four different wines and it was absolutely lovely. It was just a quick tasting though because we are hitting the road again off to Bridgewater because today is a very big day. It is a very big event that is happening, part of Lobster Crawl. We'll let you know. We'll, we'll let you know soon what it is. <laughs> We've made it to Bridgewater and we are at the Best Western because it is Lobster Call's big event of the month. It is the Lobster Roll Off where 12 different restaurants from around the South Shore make a lobster roll and judges up front will judge which one they think is the best. Also, the Kilted Chef is going to do like a little demonstration, lobster demonstration I believe. So it's pretty packed house here and I think we get to indulge in a lobster roll as if we've not had enough already. I'm really glad we're not judging. <laughs> I know. That's, oh a lot of, that's, that's a, lot, a of lot of pressure. All of these businesses too are fantastic and it's cool that if you check out the lobster roll-off competition, even if you can't make it to it, you can see all the different restaurants that are participating and maybe go on your own little lobster roll tour too. Oh! 
just like that, and you pull. Make sense? Then you end up with these four pieces in front of you. The tail is the easiest one to get out. So this is lobster roll number one. I'll describe a little bit. It looks like there's butter on the back side. The butt is kind of into it. There's loads of lobster. One of the judges is allergic to mayonnaise, so she's mostly judging based on feel and looks. Um, so her little pieces, we get to try. And the grand prize winner, second year in a row, the offspring S in particular the air. Where does the lobster keep its clothes? Under the seat. In the closet. This is where we stayed last night. It is the Best Western in Bridgewater. Great Best Western stay. We went to dinner last night too because they have an on-site restaurant. Yeah, it's called like 27, 21? 27 South. Fish and chips. I got like a stir fry with scallops. Or scallops. Don't get mad at me here. Um, and they were generous portions. Holy shit! Like holy, holy, holy scallops. <laughs> and then to start, we got the lobster dip because they have a whole lobster crawl menu here filled with like, I think there was like lobster linguine, lobster poutine, lobster roll. So it was really good. Friends of ours highly recommended the hot chocolate from the barn in Bridgewater. So that's what we're gonna do. They were not wrong. Hot chocolate is really good. They have a bunch of different options. We got the Neapolitan one. Actually, because he was hyping it up, he was like, I need to make you the Neapolitan. If you don't, <laughs> if you take a sip and you don't like it, I can make you something else. Like he was very passionate about his hot chocolate. Yeah, staff were really nice there. Then we got this thing, egg and bacon or ham or something inside of it with like a croissant. Yeah. And we got, he said, the famous cinnamon rolls. Now that we yes. have our coffee and hot chocolate fix, we have traveled over to Lunenburg. We love this town. We have been here quite a few times before, and this morning we are going to be going on a walking tour around Lunenburg. We've actually done this tour before, but it was a couple years ago, so we're excited to get another fresh perspective and hear the different stories all over again and see all the different buildings around town. And we will be heading all over town and then ending down by the waterfront where we'll be grabbing lunch there too. With every walking tour, you get this little pin, which I got last time, and I have it on my backpack, which you see in like hundreds of our videos, but it just recently broke, so this worked out really well. And the reason is, it's the best preserved British colonial plan town in North America. Walked in these lovely dormers. You can see two big ones on each side. Most of this house. Okay. So the original <laughs> house only went to just the right hand side of the store. We are at the Grand Banker and they have a whole lobster menu. We went with the lobster poutine, the Lunen burger, which is a beef patty, bacon, um, lobster, and like a creamy cheese sauce. And David got the lobster eggs betty. Next up, we are in Mahone Bay. It is a beautiful seaside town here, and we're going to check out Lobster Made Easy. It's a pop-up shop, and they are known for this very cool lobster invention, I believe, of having a lobster that goes in the microwave. I'm not actually positive they were on Dragon's Den for it, but they have this pop-up shop, and they have a bunch of local artisans featuring different artworks in there, as well as maybe lobster ice cream. This is our first time trying lobster ice cream. It's handmade locally. There's about a pound of lobster in the batch. Is it sweet? It's vanilla, yeah. but then there's that like bite of salty lobster, which is really nice. It's really nice. It's unique is what it is. Oh my god, this is so cool. We've had so much lobster this week and we are finishing it off with lobster ice cream for dessert. It's like, it's weird that you know it's lobster, but if you didn't know, like, it, would, it would just like be like, some kind of ice cream. Yeah. What, what's that? What's those weenie chunks? Yeah. <laughs> it goes in a sleeve. This goes to the grocery store in the freezer. Um, you take it from the grocery store, it's frozen product, pop it in the microwave just like this on high for six minutes. The microwave agitates the frozen water molecules, creates steam, re-steams inside the pouch. 
encapsulates the steam, encapsulates the smell mess, what happens. Um, when the pouch expands, the lobster's done. You just take it out, cut the uh, pouch, drain the brine, you've got a fresh hot lobster. So we do that for our pre-cooks, and now we're doing lobster tails the same way, but that takes two minutes. I made it to Peggy's Cove. This spot is absolutely beautiful. Love it here. Love the, the waves crashing on the rocks. It's just gorgeous. There's this viewing platform that you can come out and experience. And there's also restaurants and that nearby too. It's the most picturesque spot you definitely have to visit. It's like a postcard must if you're visiting Nova Scotia's South Shore. And this is also the conclusion of our video for Lobster Crawl. And we are very sad to be leaving. We are, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this video has inspired you to come explore Nova Scotia South Shore no matter what time of year, even in February in the middle of winter, and to celebrate Lobster Crawl. Lobster Crawl is happening all February long every year and you can get out and um, enjoy so many different lobster goodness. You can go to events, you can stay at cozy places, you can see live music, um, you can eat a million lobster rolls like we just did and go to the roll off. Yeah. We're sad to be leaving too because there is so much more. There's a Valentine's Day dance plan. There is a um, beer festival. Yeah, I'm sad I'm missing the beer fest. A tail end party too. So we could really come here for a long time and experience it all. Or you could just book a small getaway and um, come for a few days and experience some lobster stuff. So yeah, yeah. thank Thanks. you so much for so sure for having us. Thanks You're for an watching. absolute gem. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do a giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe. <laughs> we're just trying to, trying to grow this YouTube channel and hopefully it inspires people to get out and explore. That's the biggest thing that we just hope it does. So like it and share it and get your mom and dad and your sister and your aunts, uncles, cousins, twice removed friends. <laughs> Um, long lost relative from Fiji's sister's wife to also subscribe to. Little Indy, she's got some uh, cone action going on. <laughs> she looks so funny. I know. <laughs> what do you call bears without bees? <laughs> without bees? Yeah, without bees. A honeyless bear? Ears. <laughs> My favorite words are love, sweetheart, hun, and dear. Yeah. And with enough compassion, people think you know their names. Yeah, they do. Do you even know how to make all my butter? Yeah, you just like turn it or whatever. Yeah, a lot. A lot? A lot, a lot. So like if you just stir it, right? If you just stir no, like I'm milk. Sure it's like a... No, if you just like stir milk, would it eventually turn into butter? Tomorrow we're meeting a, there is going to be, I can't talk, I'm very full. That's the thumbnail of this video. Nope. Minus 50. Will we survive on the South Shore? They're open till six. What are you doing? We won't have time. The shop, eh? <laughs> 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 this, this, this. Drop yourself, it's like go f yourself. Just get out there and travel. <laughs> it's a horrible name and I shouldn't have picked it, but it's like too it. late now. <laughs> go travel yourself. <laughs> when they had their kid in November, we got a visitor here. <laughs> guess what we're gonna eat? <laughs> Just guess. I dare you to guess what I am going to order to eat. We're stopping in at Boxing Rock to do a tasting, and last time we were here, we went twice, and the guy that works there, we got to know him and learned what he drives. Because I was, I noticed there was the only car in the parking lot last time, so I was like, oh, he must drive that. So we found out that he drives that, and uh, I don't know where I was going with that story. Cool story, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> He's not in his regular spot. That's what it was. <laughs> Be water, bridge water. A lot of people will go and cut the tail in half, rip it open, and eat it. Well, that black line that you have in the middle is shit. <laughs> Don't eat that. In bridge water, somewhere close. <laughs> Don't eat it all on me. No, eat your breakfast. Hey. Eat your My gosh, she's like holding that donut hostage. We just bought this lighthouse. Subscribe for. Reno projects coming soon. We didn't actually buy it. David just tried to pick me up and like <laughs> broke my back. <laughs> I feel, I don't know if I feel old or if you're just too strong. <laughs> oh, you definitely pulled something. You're so silly. Hey, so you, silly. we could have. People buy lighthouses now. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <clears throat>